Do I have to speak with this on or can I take it off? <laughs> Thank you so much. To the Mtiane family, particularly his daughters Jabu, Zama, Zanele, Ayanda, the grandchildren, and the Kuzwaya family. I am here together with my dear wife, my people, from the depth of our heart to register also on behalf of the entire judiciary of South Africa our truly indescribable pain as a result of the immeasurable loss that the departure of the one that I refer to affectionately as Ubu Diwam. has delivered to us. I began that way and then acknowledge the Deputy Chief Justice of our Republic, Raymond Nyamezeli Mlungi Sizondo. I know he doesn't like the Mont part of it. <laughs> and the Honorable Premier of the Kingdom, we refer to KwaZulu Natal simply as the Kingdom in our circles together with Butke. Premier Justice Mbata, members of the Executive Council of the Kingdom, all fellow mourners, good morning. It truly is a double barrel blow, this one. Because reflecting on what happened, I just couldn't think of a death of somebody I admired or a couple I admired that, that came closer to it. Apart from that of Dr. Miles Monroe and his dear wife, Ruth, because they died in a flight crash together, a man who was determined by reason of his integrity and the deep-seated love for his wife, never to be moving around without his wife to avoid the ever-abiding temptation of the wicked one. When former Chief Justice Sandy Lengobo was about to vacate office early in the morning, and I've shared this with the Deputy Chief Justice and other colleagues in case people think that I'm making this up, but he was acting at the Constitutional Court. He came to my office. And he said, Chief, not because I was Chief Justice, I wasn't yet, and not because he was prophesying, but because in the many fact-finding missions that we undertook, particularly when we went to the United States of America, to revive the critical role that the African justice system has played over the years, particularly in the area of restorative justice, avoiding people's things being stolen and all they get in return is for somebody to go in prison and get nothing in return. One of our focus areas was to interact with the Nab Nabaho people who are a nation within a nation. Those, uh, uh, they call them Red Indians, I don't know the other name, but the, the real natives of America whose land was taken from them. We wanted to interact with the king, the chief, they call him the chief and the people, to learn from their institutions how we can revitalize the African judicial system that we have allowed those that have always been against everything African to run it down and portray it as the only discriminatory justice system, as if it was not in the system, the judicial system we have inherited that women were called something other than human beings, as if the deepest and, and, and biting discrimination that we have ever discriminated, experienced came only from Africans, when in fact we got exploited by reason of our generosity of spirit. So we wanted to revitalize that, and Bhutti coming back from that, 
undertook to spend, I think, two weeks in the Mahalisberg at his own expense to compile a report that we had so diligently worked on, not only on how to revitalize the African court system, but also to work on court annex mediation for which members of the public would not have to pay a cent. Free, handled by highly competent people, so that access to justice and the speedy finalization of cases could become a practical reality. He contributed, I see my, my brother and friend has risen now to warn me. It looks like I never was going to have time to speak anyway. <laughs> He contributed immensely in the program we're holding in abeyance by reason of a positive of resources. The court modernization system that would have enabled the South African court system to function more efficiently and effectively, even during the lockdown. Let me round up by saying, Booty came to me early in the morning and said, Chief, because we were in, after our interaction with the chief of the Navajo people, he started calling me Chief. I had a golf... Uh, Hat, although I don't play golf, with a, what is it? A feather. So you know kings and chiefs and uh, they like the feather. He said, Chief, I've been reflecting this morning and I just couldn't have a rest. You are going to be the next Chief Justice of this country. Amen. I said, why are you saying that? I didn't tell him what the Lord told me. It's not madness, I hear from God. I didn't tell him what the Lord told me. He said, I've been reflecting. You've been judge president. Look at the projects you have led us in as an ordinary member of the Constitutional Court. Take my word, you are going to be the Chief Justice of this country. Secondly, one thing I treasure about him was that when I was under the severest of attacks, but particularly because I said God wanted me to be Chief Justice, Booty came to me and said, you know, Chief, the Lord said, Uma una matloni ngami. Nami. Nzoba na matloni ngawe. The Deputy Chief Justice and I were discussing shortly before his departure. I, 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 I felt tears welling down my eyes when I saw the letter that was drafted already that I was on the verge of signing appointing with KK to chair a judicial conduct tribunal. Two other people who were to serve with him in that committee were already aware that he was going to be leading. Now the whole thing has been scuppered. He continued long after his retirement to chair a committee that is responsible for the transformation of the judiciary. So we have lost. I prepared nothing. I wasn't going to speak. I just wanted my wife and I to register our support to the family for the loss of Mama and Booty by coming here. Well, I'm going to pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord God Almighty, I render a prayer out of respect for you, not out of the desire to grandstand, not out of some suspected popularism, not out of some hidden agenda, because I love and respect you and know that Butmtiani, but KK, his wife and children, where, where and are your children? You are not ashamed of you. Spirit of God, there is no comforter like you. You were specifically sent on earth to deliver comfort to us, Lord. And I stand here asking you, like King Jehoshaphat, are you not the God in heaven? Don't you reign over the nations of the earth? In your hand is there, no, is there not power and might so that no one, including coronavirus, can withstand you? Lord God Almighty, the wicked and their wickedness won't you judge them? Won't you judge it? Father God, I pray this is the time, this nation, the continent, and the world over, this family in particular that I use as a point of contact, have been crying because a monstrosity we've never experienced before called coronavirus has ravaged this country and the nations of the earth. My father, 
please intervene now. Let there be no doubt that you are the almighty God and that you exist. Manifest your almightiness, Lord. Let your glory come down. You said in South Africa there will be the greatest move ever in the history of the earth. That will tip over to Africa and the rest of the world because when Jesus Christ was about to be killed, it is Africa that embraced him. And when Jesus Christ was carrying the cross, the last mile of that burden, he was held by an African man, Simon of Cyrene, to carry it for the God. You said you will remember us for good the same way you remembered Mordecai. Father, we can't wait any longer. We know that to you a thousand years is equal to a day. You are the God who can birth a nation in one day. You are the God who created all creation in six days. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. If you could come through, for Mordecai, Esther, and the Jews. If you could come through for Jehoshaphat and the Jews when they cried, again, cried out uh, unto your father against the Ammonites, the Moabites, and people of Mount Zion, then you can step through father. Beginning with them, Tiani family, and any other family that has lost a loved one as a result of this demonic monster to comfort us. Intervene now, Father. Otherwise, they will continue to ask, but where is your God? Comfort all of us, my Father. Give us the assurance that your judgment against all wickedness has been delivered, Father. Manifest, my God, this month your power and whoever and whatever needs to be judged. My Father, let the merciless angels do their work. Let the angels of David do your, their work. Let the sword of justice do its work. Let the angel of fire, the angel of judgment, the angel of the winds of the Lord do what you have deployed them to South Africa to do. My father, embolden your children not to be intimidated against prayer. Embolden your children not to be intimidated to be your children for the God. Manifest your power and judge the Antichrist and all wickedness now. In the name of Jesus. Amen.